But what we're really talking about here is that, that this whole thing started off with MFS having private end user, private networking requirements. And then uh, we started talking to y'all and then y'all brought up Sesquinet as a example of multiple users trying to get talking to each other through a common backbone. And that's a whole other market here. Yeah, that we right. haven't even really thought much about, that isn't really part of our analysis that maybe it should be, because that market, even though it doesn't exist today, could be much bigger than people who want to network between their own buildings. Well, there was a comment. We had a tech assessment at technical meeting last week, and one of the comments... Stan, by the way, is the chairman of the assessment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and one of the comments made at that meeting last week was that the Houston people really like, there's a lot of collaborative effort a lot of people that collaborate with other people. And, and, net, and networking is one way to help foster more collaboration. There's the energy community, there's the commercial community, and there's the medical research community. Uh, and and the education. The aerospace. The aerospace. Health drive. So while we don't have, we're not a one industry town anymore, which we're certainly focused on, right. on a handful of separate industries. There's a lot of critical mass in each one of them. Well, my management is enamored by this, I mean, or excited by it. They would love to see this happen, and they would love to see it happen quickly. Uh, but I think it's got, everyone in the room is like that. But it's got an economic sense. I, I've got fairly high level of confidence, confidence it would work technically. Technically, we can work something out. I've heard enough. Right? And from you guys talking to my technical person, Rich, uh, he seems to think it'll work somehow. Yeah, there are even uh, your Anderson Consulting Group, they're very close to Here getting us. No, in Chicago, right. they're very close to giving us a business, right. not giving you a FD, not getting an FDDI solution, but a, like a bridged or repeater solution between some buildings. So what, what they're doing up there is not unlike what our audit group wants to do down here. So we, we have a fairly technical audit group. Yeah, and so the issue of how you, of how you get uh, from city to city is interesting too. Right. Well, we have our own X25 network. Right? So. Well, um, what, we are, what our company is going to do then is work on looking at vendors. And we're going to try to weigh all the things that we've talked about. And one of the reasons we're taping this thing is that we want other players within our company to view this so they get the same sense of the end user's perspective that we've gotten today. I mean, this, I don't know what y'all's perspective, this has been excellent. And um, we're going to be looking at, at vendor issues, but we're also trying to do a, a model early on uh, to see the economic feasibility of this. And, and we've done some preliminary modeling. And we're trying to get a range. We think a thousand dollar per site per channel. So if it's two sites, it's two thousand bucks. If it's five sites, it's five thousand dollars. That kind of thing is is a is a range that we might be able to cost justify and and get to some amortization that at some point we make money down the road uh, without just uh, absolutely taking total risk and never ever recover our money and all that kind of stuff that we can't do. So that's kind of where we're going. Now, if we had a bigger universe, we would have be able to share the cost more and drive the cost per circuit down. And the way to get to a bigger universe is probably to go to this usage sensitive pricing. But we may not wait to implement this on the development of usage sensitive pricing. The good news is you could put a lot of customers on it. And the funny thing about networking is that it takes a few months for the customer site people to figure out that they're on the network. And the volume of usage will ramp up kind of slowly so that uh, people will be limited, they'll be rate limited by general user ignorance of the potential of the network for a few months at least. Do you think it would be useful? We, first of all, we appreciate every minute y'all give us, and we, and we want more if you're willing to give more, but we understand if you just, you know, kind of throwing your hat on it. But